Let's watch the crack and welcome to What the fuck you saying? Oh, Anto, Pamak and Dougie Talking Gary FC Every week it's a favorite show Everywhere we go It's the Carry Men Podcast Right, officially Well lads, what's the crack and welcome to the Carry Men Podcast Up the, Up the lads, lads. Up the uh, lads. A very special episode today We are in front of a live audience Everybody say hi Hey There we go Gary um, FC Gary <laughs> FC Whoa. Um, very strange, I, I must say, very, very strange doing it in this kind of setting. We, we do it here anyway, so it's the exact same thing. Yeah. yeah I know, but like it's just we open the front door this time. Watching my boss at work there staring at me from the bar while I'm talking shite into a microphone. My boss is probably watching on the cameras, man. So. <laughs> and my boss is sitting beside me, so it's... <laughs> I'm also looking at myself on the TV. Well, no, that's you, but, you know, I'm up there too, so this is all very, very strange. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Um, what a goal. Without without you listening to us every week, I suppose we don't really we we we, we would have never thought of doing something like this anyway before a game. Thanks to Anto and Adam for coming down and setting up early early doors and having this beautiful scenery behind us. Um, so you you've something else to look at other than our three fucking ugly mugs for a full hour. Um, I suppose we go straight into it. Finn Harps last week, I suppose, was the first game, um, that we'll talk about. What do you make of it? I suppose it was a good result away from home. Some people probably praise it a bit more because of defensive efforts. They don't really know whether or not we should have got more than a point, but again, I'll, I'll let that down to you and, of course, the people in front of us too. I think I said last week that I'd, I'd take a draw straight away and and they got the draw. That was the main thing. We're still unbeaten in four games. It, it, it's great to have. Um, I, I said I'd take the draw and we got we got it in the end, thanks to two. It's, um, it's a very, very tough place to go. A lot of teams will will be beaten up there, like a lot of the big teams will be beaten up there to take a point up there. It could be possibly the biggest point of the season that for, for confidence alone um, and the change of formation to, just to show what Kerry FC are all about, just to know that they're, we're not all about the 4 2 3 we can mix it up and uh, play against the big boys as well, because Finn Harps are in good form, in fairness. Absolutely, yeah. and the thing is too is, um, just to pipe up our own little bit of hype here as well, we did predict that they'd go to up top. I think you were saying to me before, and Dougie, Dougie was delighted here before we started. He was like, oh, I fucking predicted we go two up top against Finn Harps. I told you, yeah, I told you. Yeah, look, it, it, it was the right way to go. Like, they were always going to pump at us, long balls. There was going to be a lot of set pieces, throw-ins. Like, they were really, really pushing on top of us. I think we needed a bit of strength up top just to give us that bit of ease going forward and just give us those extra few seconds to get organised. And Because, obviously, the game plan was a draw. You could see it from the, from the get-go. Five at the back. I, I know you're going to put it on as three, five, two, but a lot of the times the wing backs sat. Sean and Kevin did sit for a lot of the game. Like, but at the same time, we did break forward quite a lot and create a lot of chances. Probably the better chances of the game. We were probably peppered for 15 minutes at a time. It might have happened two or three times throughout the game, but I still think we had the better chances. Yeah, and I think Jason said it as well beforehand. There was five or six corners there in a row where. Kerry defended them very well, and we were saying nine times out of ten throughout the early parts of the season. Well, we are early. Still Kerry defended so well. Kerry defended well, but like amazing they were out of those five or six corners, we were usually going to concede one of them in past games. Like you know, so it's good to see that we can actually be consistent at getting that ball out of the box for um, corners. But what was there any other big takeaway from that game last week, Anto? That you think you know that Kerry can walk away and go? You know, other than keeping a clean sheet, getting a point away from home against Finn Harps, or anything else you take away and go, right, we'll, we'll use this now going forward. Do you know what it was? It was it, I think last year we, we had that struggle. It was like, no, we, we have to play four, five at the back or we have to play this way. We've been playing four at the back every week so far, and we went, let's play three or let's play five. And, and it worked. It worked. It was a, a very simple switch. Maka had the balls, swapped formation just for Finn Harps. He... He literally went, this is what we need to, to not lose against Finn Harps. And it worked. Yeah, it looked like good game management from the, from the gaffer's point of view. You have you, you, you a gaffer that's willing to, to change things up and do things right because you're going to a, a place like going to Stoke, I suppose, on a Wednesday night, like going to Finn Harps, it's a boggy pitch, it's tough conditions. Like, you know, you're there to get a result. It's a result-based business. Like, you know, it's grand saying, oh, we played a good style of football. We created three or four chances, but we didn't score a goal. 
he was up there with a game plan, went defensive, got the point, and had the better chances. Do you know, so. The question is too, I suppose, we did predict that it would be two up top. Do you think it was the right two players up top? Or do you think there should be somebody else up there with Kelleher or somebody else up there with Victor? I, I think, think that I saw Victor run the fastest I ever thought he could run. I, I thought the wind was behind him both halves. He was he was moving like they're a truck. I probably wouldn't have played Victor personally. I probably wouldn't have played Dan. Yeah. I think the bit of pace in that type of game is very, very important because when you're breaking, you do need that pace to go forward. I think we were a bit stagnant at the times we got the ball out and it, it kind of held for too long. But I think Dan probably would have been the better the better shot, in my opinion. In it just popped up on the screen there and does. Shorts getting pulled down by his ankles. And <laughs> yeah, it's quite funny. I think you get a nice shot tonight when you see Dan on the pitch tonight up top. Absolutely, I, I think so too. I think I think Dan was the right choice. I will, would should have been the choice for the the I suppose support striker for Ryan last week. Um, and yeah, they're going to go with it tonight. That's a little sneak peek preview that we'll give you later on when we talk about the the Wexford game. We have the team. We have we have the team. We have the lineup. It has been sent on to us. Um, so yeah, look, I suppose overall, really, it was a good defensive display. It's a great point away from home against a good uh, Finn Harps team. And, you know, it's just one of those things like it's like every single w every single Kerry FC fan is like, look, we want to see three points at home or away. But like there are certain games like Finn Harps away where you have to just kind of bite the bullet and just go, you know what, we just need to get it. We just need to get in and get out of here without losing. Yeah, we're for Antonio too as well. Like, you know, he started quite... Uh shakily start of the season I think a lot of fellas were like bring back the axe party but I think he's really uh, putting everyone to sleep I'm going to say look lads I'm here I'm here to stay and he's doing a fantastic job like in fairness he's probably been in the man of match contention the last three games for Kerry like kept us in the game versus Cove clean sheet last week away yeah, you know? yeah easily like I, I know I gave him stick on the pod the last time for, for having soft hands and stuff but Jesus did he keep us in that game against Finn Harps he was coming out strong he was taking man ball everything well like right like I agree with you I think he's a great shot stopper but oh. has has he a question kind of I suppose for everyone has he saved us more points or has he cost us more points so far this season oh saucy saucy it's just it's not a question give I'm a shout there lads if you want there's no I'm issues not, yeah, like, you know, know. don't be afraid to get involved honestly lads like again I think he's a great shot stopper but has he cost us more points this season or has he saved us for more points this season? That was a question that was asked to me and I didn't know the answer to it, okay, in case you think that I'm an arsehole. <laughs> right, I was looking at the Cove game. He kept us in the Cove game. Bad. Got a point out of that. Um, we should have won the treaty game. He, uh, he was probably a fall for the goal, but we probably should have scored two or three building up to that. So I'd say he probably uh, possibly won us more points than he cost us. Okay. Possibly because I like I know you put down to the fall to the keeper... Um, soft hands or not coming out not making a save like but at the same time we're getting chances four and five a game we're not taking them again last week we had probably two or three good chances and we didn't take them do you know so at the same time if the keeper is keeping the ball out one against treaty one against cove i know there's three against bray no goals last week so i think he's doing a good enough job for me you know? yeah i don't actually have a stat to back up my question to be honest with you i just wanted to see if i could cause some drama um so yeah yeah, I suppose Toot is doing a job, I suppose, is he? Toot is definitely doing a job, yeah. all right. <laughs> um, I suppose, look, again, as we said, like Finn Harps, we got in, got out, got our point, and that was it. And we, we kind of look forward now, I suppose, to Wexford tonight. We have a, a double game week this week. Never look forward to seeing Wexford. Never look forward. Him. You could get You could get any type of way. Like, Wexford could come out and batter you 5 or 6 nil. It's like all, all or Sammy Spice at 4 o'clock in the morning. It's yeah, unbelievable. It's if you've got to join today, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, or, else, or else they can scrape a draw in the, in the 94th minute or something. You just don't know what kind of extra team you get. And if you look at the record, it's win-loss, win-loss, win-loss. So, like, I don't know. What are what are your predictions for tonight? Well, will we, give a, will we give a spoiler out for the lineup? I suppose, first. Yeah, do you? Yeah. Oh, I might as well. Go on, Dougie, you can go. Uh, so. Two ten goals, same back line as last week. Kevin, right wing back. Sean, left wing back. Eaton, Andy and Sam. Midfield in Stephen Healy comes in for Ronan, Sean McGrath, Dara McCarthy, and Dan Akute and Ryan Keller up top. Strong. I like. I like it. I like um, it too, yeah. I'd like to see the play as more of a three-five-two. I hope they don't step back with the five. They should really go at these boys the way they've been playing at Mountain Park and a bit of pace up top. Uh, hopefully, there's a big chance there. You'd imagine so. I mean, I know it's just. I just thought we were we were playing very positive football, playing the four-three-three. Um, and I think it was literally just set pieces that were letting us down mainly, more than anything. 
So going five three two, I don't, I can't tell if it's positive or negative. To be honest with you, it's just one of those things. Look, it's not five three two, it's three five two, man. Uh, <laughs> Potato, potato, whatever, whatever you want to go with. But I, I don't know. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. It's like I just think I just think with the wingers and having those wingers like Zidane out wide and, and Nathan, obviously Nathan's out, you know, with an injury. But having those wingers attacking from wide and, and Ryan arriving in late, I just think that was a lot more dangerous going forward than having your two up top. Yeah, we created a lot of chances. Like, but we didn't fucking take them. Like, that's the issue. Like, you know, it's creating chances. You have to take them. That's the yeah. problem. No, if we went bog standard four four two, so we could get the best of both worlds. I have two strikers and two wingers. That'd be fantastic. That's you're in 4 4 2, man. <laughs> when was the last time a team played 4 4 2 in the League of Ireland? Yeah. Fuck me. Last week, Dublin. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right, lads, sorry. But no, it's a, it, it's a good option to have because even if, say, we're actually on top of Finn Harps and we're playing 3 5 2 and, and you want to go 4 3 3 or whatever, it did, like, all it is is taking off one of the defenders for Brozzy or one of the lads like that, you know? Yeah. Do you reckon. Uh, oh, yeah, the subs. There's a couple of additions to the bench as well. Yeah, a lot of young fellas in tonight. Dara Foley comes in on the bench. Uh, Toger comes in for his first time. Finn Barrett's also on the bench tonight. Keenan Cooney comes in on the bench. Graham Riley back into the, he's back in the squad kind of consistently. Mm-hmm. Um, Victor Daisy obviously, he's there as well. Jack Havan is still out. Nathan is still out. Kennedy Michi on the bench tonight. A um, lot of youth on the bench. So, like, you know, it's, it's, it's good to see. I know Valerie is back in training the next week or two. Oh. He, he was uh, back in training during the week. Yeah, but full full time training. Yeah, full time training. Full time training. Oh, very training, good. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. That's a player I think we've all. I was actually chatting to Seamus about yesterday. That's the thing we've all kind of forgotten is that we have him waiting on the wings as well. Yeah, if he doesn't score thirty five goals, he's not good to us. Yeah, Send him yeah, back. So we'll hold. We'll back hold that home, we made a fucking song for you, Valerie. <laughs> has to be done. Like that was Amy Winehouse, man. That wasn't us. <laughs> actually, just to speak on the Finn Harps game as well. Um, just a shout out to Jason who's here with us as well that travelled all the way up and it was a nice touch by the club as well to get uh, Jason in for uh, a, co- a couple of points the supporters that travelled up um, for a couple of points after the game as well so fair play to them for that how was the journey back down whatever about the journey up how was the journey back down oh, not too bad in fairness after wasn't too bad oh, I, was, I was happy with the draw like so yeah you still look wrecked <laughs> yeah. still, still look fucking jet lag somehow driving <laughs> <laughs> different time zone up there yeah, yeah, different yeah, time yeah. zone yeah fun hops Sean and Manny's not even going to the game tonight yeah. he's so wrecked after <laughs> travelling up last week Jesus. was many travel last week sorry, four. four many travel sorry Jason four four, four. were you singing no, yeah, <laughs> to be fair, I wouldn't that sing either if there was only four. No, the two boys I here left I and right me, they'd absolutely bang it out. I don't know, man, me, me and right. Dunny were on our own there for in Wexford, and I, I definitely sang. Oh, you were half-steamed, like, that's I wasn't. Big, I d- I that's I the I didn't difference between half-steamed you know what, that, and the game. That Wexford away game, I didn't even have one point, because Dunny kept turning around to go get more strawberries that day. Like. Fucking strawberries. Yeah, fucking strawberries. Classic. Yeah, but fair play, Jay, honestly. Um, y- you got a point out of it as well, so the, the travel was worth it. Like, you need a bit of crack at the players after. That was a nice touch by the gaffer, in fairness. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Um, just goes to show what kind of team Kerry is. Like, they're not a real, a real fan base team. They're, they, do, they do appreciate the sport, and it's great to see, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, what was, I suppose, what, oh, sorry, what are your thoughts for tonight in terms of a result? Do you think it'll be win, draw, loss, and what do you think the score will be? By the way, I absolutely smashed the Division 1 score predictions last week, just to let you know. Don't worry, we'll get to that. We'll get to that, though, right. don't worry. What do you think, so, Dougie? Score predictions for tonight? Um, I, t- to honest, I just think Wexford is a very sticky game. Like, you know, it all depends. Again, like, it's all undertaken our chances. I, I, I do, we talked last week in the podcast about goals being scored, and there's actually f- seven goals scored in Wexford's game last week. They yeah. scored a penalty with five minutes to go to beat Bray 4 3. Look, I. I'm hoping that we can get the win, but look, if I had to put a prediction at the moment, I've got 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. 2-2. I, two, two. I was actually my initial 31 thoughts. draws, man. That's the aim. My 31 initial, draws. My initial thoughts was 2-2. Two, two. Oh, look at that for a finish by me. What a <laughs> fucking strike. Um, my initial thoughts, too, was 2-2, two, two, but I'm not going to be weird and go along with you. So I'll go 3-3, three, because three, they leak goals, and we seem to be able to find a net every now and then at home. I'll go After bold, a clean sheet last I'll week? I'll go bold prediction and go 3-3. Three, three. Nice. You're yeah. about bollocks, anyways. 2 0 carry. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, like, if we played fucking Shamrock Rovers away, you're going to predict 6 0 carry. Like, yeah. so, you know. 
and does is the less serious of the three predictions every fucking week. And, and you know I what? Think, he could be the one I to get it right. Gather that. I could be right, yeah. I know for a fact. I hope no, I'm right. It's definitely going to come in 100%. Shames be delighted. Anyway, he's a double. Derby County. Uh, by the way, shout out to the two Derby County fans in the bar. The first time ever I've ever seen two Derby County fans in the one area other than Derby. <laughs> <laughs> so fair play to you. And one of them sitting next to a Spurs fan. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh. Oh I don't know which one's oh more yeah. I, I, iconic. Don't start, Daryl, no. <laughs> <laughs> We've only started. Don't start it. Um, what are your predictions, all lads? Everyone that's listening, show them out. What are your score predictions for tonight? 1-0 Kerry. 1-0 Kerry. 2-1 uh, win. 2-1 win. Come on, Daryl, you're loud enough one and now you're quiet. One. <laughs> Scream. 3-1. Anyone else? Jason. 3-1 who? 2-1 or 1-0 Kerry. All wins. Is there any Wexford fans here? Wexford or Stevie, Seamus, shout them out. Four. Four nil up the last. Is that, the, is that the Kerry game or the Derby <laughs> game you're trying to predict there now? <laughs> Every car park in town will be full tonight if they win four nil. We'll all be on the beer. <laughs> Absolutely. Do we know go back to Benny High? <laughs> Benny up, Benny what? What? Benny High. Benny High. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to drink my pint there. You, ta- you talk there for a second. So uh, the results for the the first division uh, score prediction last week that Paz on about uh, myself and Dougie both got two points. I predicted UCD and the Kerry game. Dougie predicted Wexford and Treaty, and Pa got eight points because he's a bollocks. He predicted the exact score in UCD and the Kerry game, and he got the correct result in Treaty and Wexford as well. Up the Pa. So Pa's now on eleven points. Up the Pa. Um, we're gonna g- What's the forfeit for that again? Oh, you have to buy me a match ticket. Yeah. And no, season ticket. When I win it. Yeah. A season ticket? Yeah, when I win it, yeah. yeah. I'm, only, uh, I'm only taking the piss at the moment. Shut up. 31 draws in a row. I get it right every week. That's three points every week. Yeah. Boom. Sorted. Boom. I Sorted. Think we're, are we doing something special this week now for our predictions? No, but we, we will be over the next couple of weeks. We'll be over the next couple We've of um, kindly been sponsored there. Uh, Kerry FC Turkit by Henry Sports. So we'll keep an eye on our social media over the next couple of weeks. We're going to be giving that out. You're going to come on and take us on. See, can he beat us? If he beat us, you win ourselves a lovely uh, third kit. Yeah, kindly yeah. sponsored by Henry Sports. The blue one that's over the Dougie's head there. The lovely Dublin blue one. Yeah. And those wearing it at the moment. Yeah. It's great. I'm assuming the little bits of waves in the Kerry kit is in relation to Dingle Lake. That's why they went down to the aquarium. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, the aquarium, wasn't it? No, it's the, the Antarctic. The Tom, Tom the Green. whole Tom Crean thing. It's, it's, it's a dedication to him. I like thought it was just because of Dingle Lake. The wa- waves in the sea. Fungi on the back of it. I honestly thought it was just I honestly <laughs> thought it was just a tribute to Dingle itself. No, like there was waves on the jersey. That's next year's kit. So that's why they went to the aquarium to take him. Like in memory I'm pretty of sure it's all gone to Tom Crean. It's kind of trying to bring an old carry aspect into it. Like, you know. I'd say yeah. that would be the, the away kit now next year, you know. A nice mural of fungi on the front. Hey, right, you never know. But they could have up the lads in the back for next year. We'll have to copyright that stuff. We'll charge <laughs> them for it. Completely go off topic here. Did you know, Joe, when fungi died, that it was up on oh RIP.ie? Yeah, it was, yeah. Isn't that mad? It's great crack. It's on RIP.ie, like. We we'll leave, we'll leave, so no? <laughs> we'll leave it there so we're not now. Huh? We'll leave it there so we're not about fungi, no? <laughs> fungi, all right, let's. Uh, we have to go off topic every now and then. Right, we'll bring it back, so. Um, <laughs> so everyone's predicting, well, most people are predicting a... Uh, a, w- a Kerry win tonight against Wexford. We all hope that that is the case, and we all hope that we can go and celebrate after. Yeah, to be fair, we're unbeaten. It was in four games. Four games, yeah. Yeah. So Haven't so lost. How many teams in the league unbeaten in four if games? You take out the first two games, we're going invincible. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. We're unbeaten in the cup this year, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the cup. Cup we specialists. Yeah. We were the only club in Munster with a 100% record in the Munster Senior Cup. There yeah. we go. Now. How about that, Pat? Pa, we won every game, that's why we won 100%. We're in our first year. Team. Of all time. Oh, I get you, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about this season, I was going to say, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have to play a team in the final, they obviously have won every other game. Right, so we look forward to UCD on Monday night, until you're making a journey up home. I am, I suppose I better see my parents now and again. Like. I suppose. It was a good time in Dublin, you know, the dub jersey for the, the dub away, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. You'll, fit, you'll, you'll get no height, no? you'll fit right in. I'll yeah. be fine. They'll think we're going to the GA game. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just wear the Dublin shorts, Kerry FC jersey, be grand. Absolutely. Yeah. Cop out. <laughs> That's what I think, anyway. I'd say there's a big crowd travelling, there's a lot of Kerry fans living up in Dublin and such, like, so I'd say yeah. it'd be a big, big crowd. Yeah, there'd definitely be a good crowd, alright. There'd definitely be more than four, anyway, Jason. You going up, Jason? You are? Just yeah, of course. Yeah, there we go. There's a couple of lads on the up there as well. 
Drive up. Why don't you just fly? There you go. Fly too. Yeah. Enter's gone up Monday and he'd be lucky we'd be lucky if he's down Thursday. Enter's on yeah, that's probably on fucking yeah. private jet packed up and for it. But he ain't scars gonna fly them up. Sound like that. <laughs> nice Actually, fella. I have a question. You know money left now, <laughs> I have a question <laughs> for the fans in the bar. Right. <laughs> when Brian yeah. Ainscough left, right, there was. If you don't get this question right, you have to buy a round for the bar. Yeah, right. Me? Yeah. Well, I'm asking the question. I know, but you don't know but the I answer. <laughs> when Brian Ainscough left, right, there was a list of names of all the people that, you, that have a part ownership in the club. Can any of you name one person out of that list of about eight people that have part own this club other than Billy and Stephen? And me. Jimmy Brown. <laughs> Jimmy Brown and Billy like, no, wrong answer. <laughs> well, are you sure? Can you my, clean, my clean, definitely not, no. Can you see, the, the, the issue here is, no, right, he could be right, but you don't know. I know, no, I will, I, I'm telling you no if I've seen Jimmy Brown. Has getting around then, lads. And the list of carry Go on, Pat, <laughs> get the no, card can, out. Can anyone else name... A heckler at the back there. Sorry. <laughs> so what did you say? <laughs> Brian Ainscoff. Brian Ainscoff. I'm sure we'll be seeing him next year, by the way. Dundalk are playing anyway. Oh. Who's he? He's beefing with someone on Twitter the whole time, isn't he, about Kerry? Me. No, there's so, is it you? Is it someone else? No, it's someone else. What did he say last What did he say last time after Kerry game? I'm too, but. I think Kerry lost or something. Or no, Kerry got a result something and he was like fucking... I don't know, he said something on Twitter to someone basically saying, like, all oh, the referees were a joke, basically going against Kerry. Ah, I was like, man, you won the club fucking two months ago. What's going on there? But anyway, UCD going up there. What's the name of the park up there? The UCD Bowl. It's just called the UCD Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It's it, it's kind of an awkward one. There's no pubs nearby, so... Um, bag yeah, bag of cans on the bag walk up. No, d- there's I no I pubs in Dublin. N- Not one. Not near UCD. Bring yeah. your own beer, lads. Yeah. <laughs> Snakes. <laughs> Most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Th- th- there's literally none near. near I'm sure you get a point in Dublin. I'm sure you get a point in Dublin. Yeah, it's a college. There's surely a we'll, uh, there we'll, we'll we'll put it on social media where we are going to meet up. I think it's uh, Farmer Browns or Jimmy Browns or something like that. Jimmy Browns. Yeah. On up the land. On Jimmy Road. Can't be too far away. I suppose. Like, to be fair. No, it's it's like a 10, 15 minute walk. But it'd be it'd be grand. I always thought UCD was the actual college team that played in the League of Ireland when I was younger. Huh? I actually thought UCD was the actual just full what in the name of God is going on with this fucking night. <laughs> I I actually thought UCD was just a full on college like a full starting eleven were just college students. Yeah, I like it. a lot of people would think that I presume like you know. It's mad though, like isn't it? Yeah, but it's like you know, obviously they're linked up at the college, like, so it's a good incentive for players to, to get players in, like you know. Imagine yeah. IT Charlie in the League of Ireland, like that'd be Kate. hilarious. But none of them go out to the college. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna have an epileptic fit here. Adam. Thanks, thanks, Adam from A Plus Media. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Just the background to the UCD game. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So how are UCD getting on this season? Fine. I think we all thought they'd do a lot better, though. Ah, they're still up there, always. I think they're still strong now. I think the last the last three games in a row, they won three other okay. three other six, was it? And just getting the phone out now, we're gonna check. They went on a bit of a shit form the last three in a row. Like they haven't conceded many goals. Where they're they fourth. Go? They've they've only conceded six, they've won three, lost three. How many have they scored? Eight. Yeah. Look, I think I they're don't think be that's No, it's dead like it's Yeah. It's I don't think they're flying anyway. There's no team flying realistically, Cork are flying but they aren't playing great. Um three so teams. like it's there's a big opportunity there, realistically. Yeah. I think th- I think the middle of the park is where UCD are the strongest. I think they're probably, in terms of teams in our division, they're probably the strongest. Just because Ronan Finn's playing with them and there's a few more kind of, they're kind of surrounded by younger fellas and experienced players yeah, in yeah. Premier and Division One. So but that's like kind of where the big battle will be against UCD on Monday night. And carry a lot more equipped this year. To I think it was a bit more like you know we played Cork City beating two 0 but it was fear that last that game. Yeah. Nervousness. It wasn't on performance or anything like. But the, the management are a lot better equipped this year. Better squad. Um. The obviously, the, the effort going into looking into the teams is a lot better. Considering last week's result, you know, like they went away and kind of broke it down and kind of said, okay, let's go a bit defensive here today. We'll, let's get a point. Let's take a point home. Let's be happy with it. Like they're going to be set up for this game properly. Like you know, and I think that's the big thing we carry this year. Like I think last year it was very predictable the way Kerry play. That's where they're caught so much. But nowadays. It's every week. It's different, obviously. A lot of four-two threes at home, but there has been different changes every week. You know, 
especially with Darren McCarthy sitting in the six no it does give us a lot of uh, different options to play in different in different formations in different ways like you know so it's great yeah, it gives yeah. a lot more freedom to that midfield when you have I a think six next, like that I think there's an extra training session as well in this year like so that's that's very very important to things yeah do you think like do, like the only thing with UCD like is like when we're playing oh, you look well up there but we look out that way we'll look. <laughs> well, look, at, look at my brother he's the handsome yeah. Duggan see look at him that's what, that's what, what I'm doing. What does they say when you're nervous for the crowd? Picture of people naked. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Robert. Seamus, look down here. So look at you. <laughs> Walk out, Robert. <laughs> um, the thing with UCD is because it's in Dublin, you you all you automatically assume playing away from home will be torture. But like, I suppose, Anto, you're from Dublin. You'd know. What's their following like for home games? Is it because again, like as I said, when we went to Cork, in Turner's Cross, I was like, whether Cork are strong or weak going into a place like Turner's Cross at full capacity or close to full capacity, it's different. Yeah. It, it makes it makes it a hundred like a hundred times harder to get a goal, let alone a result. So like what's what's U C D like? Is it See U C D is such a yo yo club. They come up, they come down, they they stay up for a few years, they come back down for a year or two and they go back up. Um a lot of their fans are are students in the college, um and people in the surrounding area of UCD, you know, it's it's not it's not fantastic, really. No. They they like they they only have one stand. Everyone's in the same stand. Uh, I think the away fans are closer to. The, there's a water tower in UCD. That's that's where right. that's where the away fans go in closest to that side. A water so tower. They hang the, the flag off the top of the water tower. Water. Well, yeah, I'll go climb up it there uh, <laughs> Monday. But um, no, the, 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 their fans are for, like. It, It'll still be a crowd down there. I wouldn't say it'd be massive. It'd be a lot of fellas that would just, uh, fuck it, you know, we, we go down and watch the UCD game rather than kind of... Yeah, it's who, so whoever's it's around. Monday as well, they, like holiday, yeah. they, they wouldn't have, like, a dedicated kind of fan base, I suppose. Yeah, they're all kind of younger, kind of teenagers. Yeah, fair that enough. That can't get in with Shamrock Rovers or Bowes or <laughs> Pats or Shelburne. That's fair, fair enough. enough. That's yeah. F- yeah, John, that's fair enough. Why do you think... Why do you think club like UCD are a yo-yo club though? Budget. Is it because, is it because it's budget, yeah. budget. Yeah. It's, it's, it's League of Ireland is all about budget. Dundalk win league after league and big into the group stage Europa League now they're on the risk of being relegated yeah, like yeah, you know because yeah. they spent the budget kept them blowing it blowing it blowing it blowing it fellas take the money out unless there's money being invested you ain't going to be you ain't going to do well like you know yeah. even l- I looked at uh, Twitter during the week there was a fellas on about oh, Kerry making the playoffs and this and that like in the off chance Kerry make the playoffs it would be fantastic but if Kerry got promoted it's probably the worst thing that would ever happen to the club like do you reckon but yeah. budget wise the like worst you, you take the, the budget left the triple like you know and if you go straight back down that's your money gone for three years like you know within the first division so like if you stay steady for a couple of years and uh, gradually build your squad yeah. and build it that way rather than going hell for leather and I get you yeah, yeah I you get know? you was that sporting thing last thing there massive sporting budget thing then all, yeah. thing thing all, three, yeah. three years one gone. promotion got Got into the or won the FAI Cup as well, won I think. The Cup. Yeah. And then uh, went into win, Europe. They didn't win the league, no. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. They got promotion from the first division. Okay. They got they won the FAI Cup the next year. They got into Europe, and then folded as a club. Was Stephen Kenny that their manager, or was that Dundalk? Was that Dundalk? Was it? Oh, fair enough. So yeah, UCD. Any predictions for the UCD game? Like again, I just think. To be honest with you, lads, it's got it's gotten to the point nowhere. Other than Cork City, I think most teams are beatable on their day. Like, again, I kind of said it last year, the difference between bottom to the middle table isn't that big, and the difference between the middle to the top, there's always one that pulls away. And then after that, I think it, it could be anyone in the playoffs. I don't even think so anyone's why pulling think away this year either. Like, Cork are I fantastic. Like they, they, eventually went up, they went up to Finn Harps and nearly lost. I think they'll pull away eventually, though. I don't know. It's already like doors yet for that, like, but... With the treaty last week, it drew the all, like, you know, I know treaty put in a bit of a sneaky little game plan, wasting a bit of time in this and that, like, but, like, you know, I don't think there are any great checks. You know, Kerry didn't even fucking play above him, Turner's Cross, like, didn't even play, like, did not at all, did nothing, realistically. They yeah. broke once and Ryan Keller overpassed the ball to, to then, like, you know, so, like, I think if you set up right against Cork, like, you take points off him. Yeah. Do you know? But again, I think UCD be the same, you know... You could meet UCD and they could beat you three 0 but you could go and beat them three 0 at the same time. Yeah. It all depends how Kerry set up. Like, are they going to go for the game? Are they going to take a draw? Do they want to win the game? But what is going for the game, though? 
Four three three. In my, in my so opinion, are, formation are, are wise, we n- are we not going to go for the game tonight? So it, it, it all depends if they sit back with the five. No, obviously not. But if yeah. they put the three and have the wing backs for up the field, yes, then we we'll go for it. Because it can mean two. Like a five at the back can mean two things. Absolutely. Or a three at the back. It can mean it's either a high press with three fellas at the halfway line, and it's man for man in the opposition half. Or else it's a five back sitting on the edge of the box, and there's nothing going over the top, and you're just sitting there. Well, I don't think we're going to sit back tonight. I'd no yeah. way, shape, or form. So. No, no way, shape, so. But like, I, I also think four three three is attack, five three two is soak up pressure and try and catch him on the counter. That's the way I've always seen five three two, unless well, it's three five two. So we're fine. Unless you play, yeah, unless you play on the halfway line, everyone's man for man, and there's just one centre half, and he's almost like a fucking sweeper, more yeah, or less. Yeah, yeah. At, uh, uh, the halfway line. Yeah, we all know Kevin and Sean like to get up the pitch and get involved, like you know. So like, I, I do think it'll be quite attacking. Daryl probably sit back w- with with the tree and the rest of them just go ahead for letter at him, like you know. Do you think <laughs> it sounds awful? But do you think um, do you think Jack having I get injured the start of the season is a blessing in disguise for Sean O'Connell, in a sense, or do you think they were going to be they brought Jack in anyway as a secondary for Sean, or they were going to rotate him? Because it was it. Based on the first couple of games we've seen, and Jack started in both, Sean wasn't injured, and Jack was playing really well. It looked like they were kind of testing him out to be the starting left back. But now it's kind of like, well, Sean's back to his old ways, and he's playing brilliant football. So now it's kind of up in the air, small, but isn't it really? like? I think Sean, by the end of last year, knew his position was there. It was sorted. And you, you need competition, otherwise, you're just going to go stale. Like you're going to go stagnant. You're not, you're not going to push yourself to, to anything further. So they brought in Jack Havanagh, who's proven already in the League of Ireland that he's good and he can do the job. And it was just going to be a battle of, of, of who plays more. Plus, like we said, when we get to the FA Cup final, when we go for promotion and we go to the promotion final, th- that's a lot of games. That's 40-odd games. I so actually do think they brought Jack Havanagh to play left back. 100%. They, he played every preseason game. Sean didn't get a look in. Like, uh, Why is that though? I can't understand it for a lot of money. Sean was probably one of our best players last year, but and that, like, like he's probably one of our best I, players this year. Yeah, but that, like, that's what I was thinking too. Like, why? It doesn't make sense to me at all. Is it like you, I, is you it see something sh- behind the scenes we don't know? Is it? You see, Sean, the, the, the first 30 minutes of the Cork game, like he was shown into the deep end, and yeah, it was probably rough, his worst 30 rough, minutes yeah. in the Kerry FC jersey, like you know. But uh, from from then on, like he's been fantastic. Like so, yeah. I think. Uh, Look, obviously you need to strengthen the squad, like, but I think they both needed to play during the summer. I think they needed to mix it up a bit, like Sean, Sean played one half, Jack played the other, yeah. and it, like it, it could have bit them in the arse, being honest against Cork, because Cork put a lot of pressure on us. Don't Sean O'Connell inside in the first half an hour, but I, I, Turner's cross, like so. I'm pretty sure Cork. that was the reason too, because well, they, yeah, they they knew oh, he hasn't played at all. Cork, yeah, Cork, and, Cork and it said every it single one of Kerry's preseason games and the Bunch Senior Cup games. So they knew who was playing every single game. They knew Deshaun was coming straight in for his first start Whoa. and appearance. What done you by? What done you by? Um, so they knew that was the weak spot. That was the player to target, you know. So give him the benefit of the doubt there. But he's been brilliant since. He's been very, very good since. Um, but again, it's a, it's a, it's one of those. It's like I still question why bring in a left back like that. Like again. Oh, like I'm delighted we have two really, really good fullbacks. Yeah, but you need the same f- position. You need but four good centre backs. If you play one striker, you need two good strikers. Yeah, like back up, like. But you still have to question the decision of if Sean would again, in my opinion, was one of our best players last season and one of our most standout players. Why would you bring someone in to replace him? I suppose you need to look it at the long term. To be honest, with you, in my opinion, there are positions around the pitch where they needed replacing more than left back. I think uh, you look at it like Sean was offered a long term contract, which he didn't accept. He only wanted a year, so like you have to look at it from that point of view. Is Sean going to stay on next year? Like yeah. they need to cover their, cover all bases. Like really, so like if Sean's not willing to to commit long term, they need to find um, a replacement for Sean. And is Kevin not on loan though? No, no, no. Kevin oh, no, signed. Oh, he's signed. Okay. So right. signed. I always thought he was alone. No, no, no. Okay, that's fair. Anyway, predictions for UCD on Monday night. And Tom and Sarah Jude this time. Mm. Yes, Anto, you're up there on the screen. Yeah, that's I am, you, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dougie, we'll come to you. <laughs> okay, no. uh, two, one, one. Two, 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 one, Kerry is what I was going for. All right. One, one. 31 draws. I'm telling you, it's the way it's going. We're going to go unbeaten. <laughs> We're going unbeaten for the rest of the year. We'll one, break one. <laughs> break the 30 point mark by getting 30 draws. Next. Yeah, I just like, uh, obviously, Kerry aren't winning a lot of games until until it happens. You know, the, 
they're playing well enough to get results and they just look it looks like the more obvious result for Kerry at the moment is a draw like you know they're leaking goals See, they're not taking their chances so look. my mentality was it's away from home so less pressure they'll just do it my mentality oh. is that Kerry are going to win every week so like yeah, exactly. that's, that's last the year, exact mentality they they've won, need they've won <laughs> once <laughs> We'll stick you in the Positive dressing room. mentality <laughs> at all times, guys. No. Fight and I win. Think, I think nil all. I think they'll do the same thing as Finn Harp. Set up the same 31 way. 31 draws. 31 draws. Come the lads. <laughs> 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 until, we get, until we get Bray Wanderers at home again, that's, that'll be next time now. I'm dead set mind. I'm serious not, right? Team. 31 draws in a row, right? If Gary finished the league with 31 draws, went on beaten for the rest of the season, probably come 6th or 7th, possibly maybe 5th with that amount of points. Is that a good season? Would you be happy? I'd be fucking ecstatic anyway. <laughs> would you, would you well, no, genuinely, everyone outside, would you be happy if we, would, if we just went unbeaten and for became draw of FC? Imagine the fucking chance we'd have, then, lads. Draw FC. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't break us down. You can't break us down. <laughs> we'll draw with you. <laughs> we can't break us down. Yes. That was the worst of the last. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was yeah. a say, there was a bit of a segment. What's the best chant of the night? Anyway, that's definitely the fucking worst. No, no. It's but no, yeah. I sh- look, it kind of has to be a successful season in the way, doesn't it? Really. The Invincibles. <laughs> <laughs> After the first two games, yeah, we get a goal in Jersey. <laughs> yeah. No trophies for draws. That's no trophies for draws. Um, so yeah, anyone else out there? Predictions for the UCD game on Monday night away from home. A draw. You're not even going to attempt to. You're not even going to attempt to say who's going to score what, how many goals. A draw. Thirty-one draws, bye. Six all. <laughs> 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 Jamie. Nil nil. Stevie, go on. One one. All draws. Daryl. One nil. Two. The referee. <laughs> <laughs> Loves the ref him. Kerry penalty. Who's taking the penalty? Oh no. No 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 no. Who's do you reckon, yeah, I reckon if, if we get if we get a penalty every game, they should have to make a sub and bring someone off the bench to take it because any fell in the pitch is going to fucking miss it. So like we, what if we like a thirteen percent finishing rate yeah. Sorry, on penalties? Yeah. It's a bit of a disaster, <laughs> in fairness. How many penalties? We got five penalties and scored one, is it? Yeah. Twenty percent strike rate. What? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Leo's missed two. Ryan's missed one. Dan has missed one, isn't he? Yeah, and then uh, Leo oh, yeah. scored that. Uh, Quite, quite soft. So. I, I think, and I think the one Leo scored, the keeper tried yeah, to leave it. Yeah, he got a good hand to it. Uh. Oh, he's jumped over it or something. Yeah. I'll go up and show him what's done. Yeah, Sep. So what? To be fair, they're <laughs> definitely working on their set pieces above them Thor Park on the Tuesday and Thursday night. <laughs> Can't fucking score them, and we can see about forty goals from them. Yeah, might be something to work on, possibly. I suppose. Possibly. Might look into it. Might look into it. As, as the great Ralph Rennick said. <laughs> Who the fuck laughed there? <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth, right? <laughs> Jesus, PG, Ralph, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ralph, Ralph Frank, PG. 15% of goals are scored from set pieces, so you work on them 15% of the time. I think you add 70% onto that, and I think that's what Kerry needs to do for set pieces. Ah, and yeah. I think they have been doing it. I think ah, they're they're working on it. it. They're working on it. Working on it. You know, working on it. Clean sheet, as we said, faced six or seven in a row, five, six, seven in a row against Finn Harps last week. We have from home, got them all out of there. There was a serious 15 minutes there, man. They took a fair belt and throw-ins. Like, the referee was just fucking blowing the whistle left, right and centre, giving them free kicks for absolutely nothing. Yeah. Referee definitely back Finn Harris 1-0. I'm sure the referees are oh yeah. fucking great, aren't they? Yeah, I fully agree with you. Unbelievable. Fully agree with you. Good referee, no. Um, I suppose, what do you think? Where do you think Kerry will finish? Because like, we always put it out there, I suppose, we don't have to start the season with our own predictions. Is there anyone that predicts Kerry going into the playoffs? Anyone predicts Kerry staying where we are, going up one place, up two places? Does anyone have any predictions as to where Kerry will finish at the end of the season? Do you know who would be a good man for this? Dunny, where do you think? <laughs> exactly. Up one or two places. Uh. Right. We go back to the room a small bit. <laughs> <laughs> we go back to the room. Who's, who's back the class there, lads? Dunny's at hiding? the very who's back of the bar. The go back to the room. He's the first fellow away. <laughs> <laughs> Is there we someone out the back? <laughs> that <laughs> was Dunny. So no smoking effect, lad. Jamie, where do you think we'll finish? Seven to eight. Seven to eight. Okay. Yeah. Robert. Eight. Eight. Jason. Eight. Eight. 
So let's we make a pact down here, right? Kira behind <laughs> the bar was pointing down, and that's impossible. So oh, we're going to finish tenth, are we? Fuck you, Kira. <laughs> <laughs> nice. If if Thank Kerry you. finished eighth, we're going on the beer like they won it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, to be fair, like if they didn't get to come up two spots, and then two spots to six, they don't want to be good enough during the playoffs. Like we want to win the fucking thing, like. So like if, if if we come second, I want to be beaten by bottom of the division in the Premier. I don't want to go up like that. I want to win the fucking league, man. Mm-hmm. I want to go in the beer for about a week with the trophy, break it, the whole lot. <laughs> the bo- the yeah, boys actually won't even have the trophy. Will have the trophy. Have you seen? <laughs> have you seen the size of the Munster Senior Cup? If they win that, uh-huh. we're bringing it inside here and we're filling the fucking thing, What's and we won't have to put our hands in our pockets. It's huge. What's it look like? The trophy. Sam McGuire back. Silver and just handles <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> It's the shit I have to fucking do. <laughs> the shit that gets cut out sometimes is me just fuming at the boys taking the piss out of me. I get bullied, right? Yeah, sometimes he just walks away and I'm like, I do ah, it. cut. And I, and I also do walk into 90% of the shit that they say to me. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing we can do about that. Hey! <laughs> Why weren't you here from the start? Lift him. <laughs> Lift him. I don't know what to say after yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> come on, City. Come on, City. Come on, City. Take it away, Dougie. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, so, yeah. The, there was press conferences beforehand, um, before the game tonight. Have you had a listen to them? Not really. It's bits and pieces. Like I don't really like listening to them because you can't hear the questions. It's very, very frustrating. A lot. There's some of them you can, some of them you can't. It's just... I think the last two with Mac it's just been him talking to the, you don't know what the, what he's being asked yeah, what he's same answering with, same with Shoggy so it's, a bit of, um, it, it, it's literally just him going yeah so uh, the way we think it, and then the next question be like oh, I don't know about that and uh, it's just a break oh, it's just a cut yeah you don't hear what the question is you have to guess what the question is could be what he had for dinner and he's talking about the team Directly. realistically he could be interviewing themselves man could be Hi right, Chucky, how are you today? Well, not a bad show. How are things? That's a bit weird, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, it's not like... Th- <laughs> just constantly moving left and right. And, and it's something that's very important. The press conferences are like very <laughs> important. Very, very important. Because last yeah. year we said it a lot, you know, fellas being left out of the team and we don't know why they're left out. But this year, like, you know, they're actually doing the press conferences but we don't know what they're on about. So, no, I suppose it's one step forward. Two steps so back. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Look, yeah, we can't... Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I suppose we move on to our my favourite part of the show now, seeing as I'm top dog in this old competition at the moment. We are a little uh, score prediction. Fancy football's back this week, mate. Fancy football is back this week, actually. Yeah. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, but that table hasn't changed in two weeks. Yeah. Thank God, because yeah. I was going downhill anyway. I'll leave that I, you don't need I to do that. never checked my team, and I had nine fellas. Did not play a single game from the last game week, and four of them were injured. Still got more points than that, though. <laughs> Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Right, so score predictions for Division 1 this week. Right, so Longford Town and UCD. Dougie. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. What the fuck on draws? 2-1 two, two. UCD. I think it's going to be 1-0 one one UCD anyway. I still think Longford are fucking just cash because they haven't played a single game. I had a 3-0 last week and they've drawn 3 Did you ever go to Longford? I don't know. No. Oh, it's a keep. It's does it exist? Shit. It does. Oh, it's there, yeah. But yeah. no, d- not even that. They, they, they played Bray during the weekend. Right. They drew one all as well. Bad, with right. all the red cards and the 158 minutes and yeah, goals right, and yeah. all that crack. Yeah. What happened there, do you know? I don't know. It was a brawl or something. Oh, they scored late. And it was a bit the of Royal scale. Rumble yeah. <laughs> in Longford. So, 3D Finn Harps. Fun Harps. 3D at home? Yeah. 2 0 3 2 all. Actually, no, I don't want to change mine to 2 all. No, no, you can't. As good at this. That's good. At Two all. Um, I think three nil three D. I don't think Finn Harps will travel well. Cork City <laughs> <laughs> and at Lone Town. <laughs> yeah, we get travel sickness. <laughs> they don't travel Look well. Look at Jason over in the corner. He's still <laughs> jet lagged. <laughs> Imagine Finn Harps trying to travel oh down to the Limerick. The name broke up. It wouldn't yeah. work. So uh, Cork City at Lone Town. Cork at home. Cork Four at nil home. Cork. Ooh. At Lone are leaking a pile of goals. Two nil Cork. Three one Cork. The reason being is I think because they're leaking goals, I think they're they know they're going to Cork. They have to set up very very defensive, but they're still going to concede. I don't think they can set up defensive man. They just need to go fucking balls out. There's plenty of goals in all their games. Hell for leather. It's mad. It's mad. Two nil Cork. And the last one, Bray Wanderers versus Cove. Bray at home with their new uh, lovely mural outside uh, the Carlisle grounds. What's the mural? 
a seagull, actually. There's a mural of Maradona down in Clarglen, just to let you know. <laughs> yes, you know, speaking of murals, there's a mural of Maradona down in Clarglen AFC's nice. dressing room. Nice. There's one in the low field as well. And Ant- those that had who ride Killer on his back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Killer pointing at the camera. <laughs> He's going to get it out for the camera in a while. There's a Bray. Covent who? Bray. Bray. Bray at home. Do you want to go first, sir? Two one. Two two. Oh, let's see. I'll go two one Cove. Nil nil. Nil nil. It'd be shite. That's crazy. Nah, this one's. Th- this I need one's to say, you came up with last week. You said there was going to be a lot of goals, man. There was a lot of goals last week. Yeah, the one. Lot, yeah, the one game. No, I was. I didn't get the score right, but I was like, I think that's going to be. Yeah, well, yeah you I actually said, oh, watch, the Bray and Wexford game is going to be like eight goals. It's close enough. Six, I like, sure, sure, <laughs> like, sure. Still got a run though, so oh, fuck no you. points for that. Anywho, uh, anyone here going to Treaty United? Twelfth of April. <laughs> anyone here getting the bus? I think there's only about how many people are on the bus at the moment? Sixteen. Sixteen. So we have one bus at the moment, a sixteen-seater. If you want to go to Treaty Away, which is in how long? 12th of April. The 12th of April. Two please weeks. make sure Two you weeks. contact us on Instagram and book a seat. It'd be great if we could all go up together, have a couple of beers on the way up. We stop in the pub for about an hour beforehand, before kickoff, maybe an hour and a half. The pub is literally right beside Marketsfield. Now we've been kindly invited to meet up the Blue Army. Yeah, the Blue Army oh boys yeah? uh, texted us actually yeah. last day, didn't they? Oh, hey, what did they say? Um, I missed that. They said, we'll go for a pint. We'll go for a oh, pint. For it? Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. 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 Want to go for a pint before the game? Yeah, no bother, boys. Yeah, look, we, after the Cork City game, we were asked, why did we didn't do a 50-seater? This is why. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of, a lot Let's of put on a 50-seater. Yeah, it shows 16 fillers on it. Two days it's 120 beforehand. euros each return. Yeah, a lot of people two days beforehand saying, oh, is there room in the bus, room in the bus? We're like, no. Like... We knew this was going to happen. So, look, that's why we're not doing massive seaters. We're doing a fifth seater now, but we're we're lucky we have a company that are kindly able to just decrease Swap that as bus, we go. Yeah. Cut again, the bus in half. If we keep doing that, though, we're not going to be able to. So it'll be great. Look, just not even just for us filling a bus. It's not even just for the sake of that. It's just for the sake of, you know, just getting fans all together in one one place and getting out there and no, it's, a, it's, it's like probably the big, one of the biggest aways of the year because it's so close. Absolutely. Like you know, I, like there was definitely seven or eighty last year. And because of the first home fixture as well against them, you know, like it's potential to be a cracking game as well. Yeah, yeah, look, we should have beat them at home. They beat us the same last year. We should have beat them early on in the season. We drew them one all. Uh, we were down to them in. And look, we des- we need to get a result off them. We deserve a result off them. And I think we're in the shape to, to get a result off them this time. So, look, that'll probably be a draw as well. So, look, that's fine. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> draws. We'll take draws all draw. round. We'll take the draw. 31 draws. Fact. 31 draws. Right. What's your favourite chant? My favourite chant. Yeah. I've got two. Okay. We were above Mount Top Park last year. Sean McGrath scored a goal and this young flake came out of nowhere. Started chanting, ooh, ah, Sean McGrath. Said, ooh, ah, Sean McGrath. Man was about 12. We couldn't fucking come up with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'd be sitting down here at night. Well, well, we need to come up with a new one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, Twelve points in. Sean McGrath scored. We can come up with a three and a half minute long song, but we can't come up with uh, Sean McGrath. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we literally all just stopped celebrating the goal. I think Sean McGrath was running around the place, and we just looked at him and was like, "That's fucking genius, man." <laughs> That's definitely the chant of the year. <laughs> we have guitar solos and everything in half. They do like the they don't they don't get released. The new. <laughs> Uh, Sean McGrath chant the, the the one that relates to Madrid's. We've oh, got the good, uh, yeah. oh, bombers, the bomber, bomber, bomber burn, the bomber that burn. Bomber came over that yeah. Yeah. He's like William, he's like William Bomb Shakespeare, a football chant man. <laughs> he literally he stood in that bar in Cork and just started listing, and we're like, whoa! <laughs> it was the, 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 the we organised that bus and we came out with about a year's worth of chants. Bomber paying thirty quid for the bus and just stood in the middle of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> on his own. He wouldn't sing them, but he was texting them on to us, so we'd <laughs> sing them for him. <laughs> That's fine too. That's all right yeah. too. He just came up and just created a lot of magic and just fucked off again. Like that's what, that's what he's done. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Typical Liverpool fan. I think the one like the, the most iconic chant in is the Graham O'Reilly chant. Oh, what a chant! We won't sing that now because his face is a bit the form now on top of the, on top of the flag. <laughs> there he is, though. Yeah. And that's him. Thanks for coming on, Graham. Thanks, Graham. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, anyone out there? What's your favourite chant? What about Anto, man? Oh shit! Sorry, Anto. Forget forget about the lads. We come back. <laughs> Look. There's a man standing at the very back of the bar, right? Okay. 
Yeah. And we had a very, very long drive to Wexford. Yeah. The car had to be turned off about 800 times just to actually make it down there. Okay. D- don't ask. He put on the wrong tires or I something. I said up there, but yeah. Um, but look, it has to be the... Can you hear me calling? Out your name. He's not singing all, man. We <laughs> carry <laughs> and we're on the piss again. <laughs> <laughs> that part yeah. of that song, yeah, right? yeah. I think it's a good song with that part. If anyone that's, can help us out with that, that's the only issue. The thing is, <coughs> everyone, everyone sings the start and then it just stops, and there's only two people just go, ah! <laughs> that's like, oh, me and Dunny. Jesus, yeah. All the way, friends, are laughing at us. Yeah, all I four think, of them. I think the other one has to be the Sean O'Connell chant. Sean O'Connell ah, chant. Yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. the one. Like, what a chant. I think that's the one. How's that with Morgan? I don't get started. <laughs> <laughs> that was from Dean Meehan, man. He plays for Kerry, he wears a green and white. He, he hates, hates the Ramblers, he takes the fucking shot. He's breaking ankles everywhere he goes. His name is Shawnee, Shawnee O'Connor. That's actually the first time Paz chanted for Kerry <laughs> FC since, <laughs> since they came into... No, nah, Cork, to Cork, which be fair. Oh, that was from Dean Meehan, huh? Tommy likes to say it. I'm sure Tommy doesn't talk to the good day. It's all the max, boy. It's all the max. Afraid to, afraid, afraid to sing. I think that's definitely the best something to be ever actually. I think so. Dean Meehan yeah. came up with that. So, do you know what, man? A lot of the good chance these are sold from fucking City, man. I don't like it. Not Cork City. No, don't get too excited, you, Pat. Men City. I don't know. I don't like it, man. Well, I suppose, Pat, before we go to the audience, what's your favourite chant? Sean O'Connell. Lord. I'm not singing it. Why not? Sean O'Connell. Lord. You won't sing it up there, you won't sing it here, fair enough. Yeah, absolutely. I'll sing it at Cork when I'm full of fucking beer. You didn't sing I it I might then. sing it later on if I can get a few more points. Kira, can I have a pint of Guinness, please? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so what do you think, lads? What's your favourite chant? Nice one, cheers. So we'll <laughs> move on there. Um. <laughs> to be fair, you all sound like Pab of Motor Park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice one. Nice one, cheers. So I'm, 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 so I'm actually surprised. surprised. It, it, it's the quietest Daryl has ever been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever been. But we, th- we talk about kind of fan interaction and, you know, chants and stuff. Is there anything, and this is kind of a good, like, I'll repeat it. As you say it, I'll repeat it on the microphone. So Should just do waiting to get Byron as a piece of paper for is this. There, is there anything you'd like to see the club bring in to kind of improve the fan experience because we always kind of say it ourselves and a couple of people message us in free Does anyone beer. here know after a couple of, after a couple of beers that want to express what they what they think the club should introduce to kind of improve the fan experience yeah. turn off the music after we score oh, turn off the music after we score I forgot about Absolutely. this actually Absolutely. Yeah. we're not playing we're not fucking Bayern Munich do you know when they do you know yeah, when they we're score? not in the Bundesliga but look every yeah, Bundesliga, Bundesliga, Bundesliga I team they play a I went to a, a Borussia Mönchengladbach game last year Borussia <laughs> Mönchengladbach and uh, <laughs> they, they put on the song for literally five like seconds done the accent and everything Five seconds and it just gets uh, the whole place going. That's it. Yeah, it's like it's it, it, it's not on for the whole of, oh let 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 the boys take 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 the ball out of the net all the way up to the goal. We'll keep going until they score and then uh, oh yeah. I think they actually wait until the fans start cheering. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised with that fella. It's <coughs> yeah. so I think um, I think personally, you know, it is it is it's hard it's hard on the there. fans that want to sing a song about the goal wow. score basically. Um, it kind of ruins it in that yeah. sense. <laughs> All right, Darren. Right, I know I won't be singing it, but for... for he'll cheer, though. He'll cheer. He will, yeah. cheer. he will cheer. He will cheer. He yeah, will cheer. It's hard for me to go, yeah, when I can hear... I think the players feed off the fans cheering as well, like, you know, so they want to hear the fans cheering as well, like, it's important for I'd the players. Hoping, yeah, yeah. Like, you know. I'd be so. uh, At least, do it. Play the fucking song, but change it. Put on a different song every week, like... Zombie Nation. It's a banger, like, but fuck me, man. Oh, no, when when... When Treaty <laughs> scored, <laughs> score. <laughs> the boys ah. were like, where's our song? That uh, fuck, we'll do it so ourselves. Because <laughs> <laughs> we scored first, and yeah. then as soon as Treaty equalised, no song was played, and all the fans went, da, 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 da. <laughs> and we were all just going, do you know what, fair play to you. But um, yeah, I think that's definitely one Robert 100% said, like, you know, I think the songs, like, directly after a goal, or I think they need to cut out. Is there anything else that the club should do to kind of improve fan experience? Anybody? No. Free beer. Free beer. I know Seamus Falvey smiling above. He loves free beer. Everything, <laughs> anything that's free, Seamus loves it. Do, do you know what I saw throughout the, this week? So Bray put up a new fan zone within the stadium 
Waterford put up a and new Galway and yeah. Galway. They, Steel, Steel they, shed. they all got new things. I don't know. Galway's the only one with a barrow. Those two. To but be sure, we put up a steel shed. But we put a shop inside now. We did. But look, <laughs> it, like I know, I know they probably can't do it up in Mount Hawthorne. Can't Park, have a pint, but you but can have a packet of wine gums. <laughs> and a can of coal. Yeah. yeah. Does does most grounds have a bar? No. No, not many. Cove, so. Galway, and that's actually all the ones I. Cork, well, you can go to the corner flag, like, but watch, I think you have to watch it from the small field or something. Yeah, yeah I don't think you no. have to say anything. No. Yeah. And like, coves right behind the goal, and you have to stand behind a, a lovely fence that I found out the first time I went down there. Is it to be fair, you sh- you've stuck a few naggins into the motor park, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Two actually. But I hope he gets bend. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to find <laughs> out ho- how long the bend's going to be, man. Yeah. What do you reckon it would be? Do you know, like, like I know we get <laughs> piss taken out of us, like, oh, where are the flares? Would you streak? What, what do you think the band would be if we let I off d- a flare? I don't think actually anyone streak. has asked us, or if we streak. why don't we streak? Well, uh, it's definitely not Nobody wants to see us like that, I'd man. Be like, fucking fat bastard from Austin Powers, <laughs> man. Not a chance. Why are you doing it? But, like, if anyone out of the three was going to streak, it's obviously Anto, like. Jeez, sure, that's yeah. fucking harsh, man. Or Daryl. Just because it's Daryl. Just because it's I don't like. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. not gonna get caught, like. Yeah, and what do you like? No, I'm fast. It's if fuck, if, man. if, if you, you no, caught. not shriek, man. I would say with a flare, like. Put out the flare, like. Just fucking throw it, man. If you see someone, just fucking throw it. Just throw it up to the blue. I reckon. I jo- I'm. I'm really. I, I. I think you should do it, lads. I'm not gonna do it myself, but <laughs> any fan out there that's willing to bring a couple of flares, you have my backing. You're one of those fellas. Oh, we knock on this fella's door. Go on, son. No, man, you do it. Yeah, yeah. I'll definitely jump around next to it, but I won't hold it. You know, it's f- the, thing that, like, the thing with flares is when, when it's not you, you look at it and go, fuck, that's class. The like when Treaty done it last year, I was like, oh, that looks so The really good thing about flares, man, is when one comes out and someone gets hurt and they put on a warning about it, then everyone brings them out. I reckon we just bring black cats. Fucking great. Just, I don't just know, get no. black cats and just start popping them off around the place. Nah, nah, flares are the best to go. Don't mind safety. Anyway, safety. I, I, that so what? And to be will, willing to invest as well, I'd imagine. There's feedback off the point with the microphone. Jesus Christ. Um... I'm going to take some my point here now, lads. Right Apologies. So. This has gone awful pear shaped. One second. Sorry for all the yeah. point here. I actually had yeah, it the whole time. The issue with the live podcast in the bar is Pa actually wants a drink this time. Yeah. I'm very nervous. <laughs> actually, I have a funny story for you. On my way here to the record the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> on my way here to record the podcast, I got referred to as... Well, no, I won't say referred to as, but there was two fellas walking against me, and they goes... Uh, no, he's definitely Polish anyway, he's run slashing to runners. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the third time I was called Polish for slashing to runners in the last six months. <laughs> Does anyone listening out there that's Polish, can you please confirm or deny that that is a stereotype for Polish people? Bald Polish people to wear slashing to runners. Uh, I've seen them all, man. Yeah. Right I'm, I'm surprised I you didn't turn around and just be like, I'm a carry ultra. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know I made the BBC? <laughs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> Oh, anyway, I think we're buying a bit of time here now, lads. I think I we've think done our justice. I think we've uh, done our justice, lads. Thanks very much for coming out and listening to us. We've given it a good go, anyway. Talk <laughs> absolute tripe for our first time in front of a crowd. Oh, I am a fool. Hey. Listen all. Fair <laughs> pleasure. Thank <laughs> 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 God we recorded. You can listen to it after. Uh, <laughs> uh, amen. Uh, Proud daddy of Dara Foley on the bench again tonight. Hey, hey. up the lads. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, everyone, for coming out. Uh, to everyone that's listening at home, obviously, your support is unbelievable. Um, hopefully Kerry can get three points tonight and we kick on again. Up the lads. 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 Yeah, lads.